So I have been contemplating on making this video for quite some time now, and oh, what's up, Bree? <laughs> and uh, of course, as soon as I go to make it, it is about to rain. So that's uh, it's kind of good. It's great. Um, Ovanic, you guys have heard about them. They're a fairly new battery company on the market, and they've been making incredible lipos. Um, for quite some time now. For some strange reason, I feel like these are tattoo batteries. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, wait a minute. That's a new one. So, I have a, f uh, a bunch of Avonics, about, I don't know, 25 packs, 4S, 5S, uh, combo mixed up. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, but these two packs are brand spanking new that I bought last November which is when I was going to do the review but then I said how about we wait a year and check the longevity of the battery itself now where is okay it's none of these but but I can tell you these five were bought at the exact same time I believe it was last May the 30th, if I'm, it should be last May, because this month, the end of this month makes it a year. I mean, it's roughly a year that I've been flying these five packs. So they, these were bought last May. And these were bought in November. Never touched. I took them out today, as you can see. They, they literally still have the little band that holds the uh, XT60 around here, and it still has the do not pull sticker on it never flown these guys I charged them up today and I was gonna go rip but no it's raining hopefully it stops um, but from what I can tell you I, I've actually bought four November and I did try two of them like last month and from the, the differences is basically weight and power is still there you know, the old one-year battery felt the exact same as the new battery. And I'll show you that in flight footage. But the only difference is weight. So, of course, you know, there's going to be some swelling of the battery. Um, crashing, charging, all that stuff. So, and, and a one-year battery weighs around one, 188 grams. Uh, let's try another one. This one's 189, 188.6, so you're looking at about 187 to 190 grams after flying these batteries for a bunch, and a brand new pack weighs, I believe, 180, yep, 180 grams. So putting on like 10 or between 7 to 10 grams, not that big of a deal for freestyle. Um, for racing maybe but I don't know you I mean you could race with them they feel like they give a uh, enormous amount of power for for what I'm doing and um, I'll just show that to you 16.8 that's a brand new pack just charged up 16.8 and this, I do believe one of these is charged. Yep, 16.8. So, once you have a good uh, charger, I use the IS, I, ISDT, or I, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the Q... I can't even remember the model. <laughs> uh, ISDT, I think it is. And uh, the Bardwell... A 4S parallel charge board that thing is amazing I actually plugged one of these guys in somehow the wrong way and with the uh, balance plug and the uh, poly fuses kicked in and I was like oh my god I can't believe I just did that <laughs> never done it in how much ever years and I did and I didn't fry the whole board so check that out um, these are the ADC packs so Let's see if we can get that in there. So performance from 80 to 100 will definitely be different. 
I personally don't know why I got the ADC packs. I just, yeah, but I have like, I think about 15 or 16 ADC packs. But from now on, I'm buying the 100C because why not? Um, so yeah, longevity wise, uh, these batteries are great, you know. All my packs that are a year old feel like I just took them out of the box and charged them up. They last extremely long and power um, on the top end is just the same as on the bottom end. There's very little sag. The only time you get sag is when you go below like below 14.5 volts and you probably shouldn't be going that low anyways. Um, but yeah, once you, I try to, oh, uh, puffing, I haven't puffed any of these batteries. Uh, crashes they are ridiculously strong and that is because they have a metal plate in the front and the back of this battery which gives it the weight so thunder power they just have like this hard material around the battery for thunder powers but on the Avonics just as the tattoos at least the version one I have has like these metal plates that protect the battery but I mean I haven't been able to really damage a battery to the point where I'm like, I'm not flying that. So, yeah. Longevity wise, I believe these batteries are great for someone starting out or someone who has been flying for five years like I have. So, let's cut to that flight footage. <laughs> Let's hope I don't crash this time. <laughs> <laughs> 